Praise him. Hallelujah. He's so worthy to be praised, man. The King of King, Lord of Lords. Oh, hallelujah. Sweet Jesus. It opened up the tour of the veil for us to be able to enter into the presence of God through the Holy Spirit. God's very presence living within us, guys, as we're here fulfilling his perfect plan and purpose for our lives that he wrote out a long time ago before we were even in our mother's wombs, more or less coming out. Before that happened, we were born. God had a perfect plan and purpose for you and me, guys, and all who come to Jesus, right? And Romans 8, 28 and uh, Jeremiah 29, 11 seals the deal. And I'll read these quickly. And, and Romans 8, 28, and we know that all things work together for the good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his perfect purpose. Praise the Lord. Amen to that scripture. It says, as children of God, we do not always know what to pray for or how best to pray. This is in the study note. But we know that the purpose of God, which the Holy Spirit desires to accomplish through us, God working through us to get this perfect plan and purpose fulfilled as he did Jesus at the cross and so many others, hallelujah, and it might hurt, it might sting, it might be bad, ugly, it might be everything, it might be good sometimes, but mainly bad and the ugly because we're in a bad and ugly world and we're going to suffer and go through things just as Jesus did, we will go through, through our suffering, other people benefit through our suffering, so we need to seek God's face, and that's the title out of the Jesus is calling, Jesus is calling, right, <clears throat> seek my face, <clears throat> excuse me for one second, got a lot of pollen out here guys, and I'm not complaining a bit, I just swallowed a bunch of it, <laughs> maybe to lower my cholesterol, <clears throat> praise the Lord, but back to the lesson at hand, Holy Spirit having his way, having a little fun there, the flesh got in the way, I wanted to be funny man, but we're going to be serious and bring the Holy Spirit and let him teach you right now. But all things work together for good. The primary reference here, all things, is the suffering of this present time that me and you are going through right now. All circumstances will work together. The pain, the good and the bad and the ugly and the hurt, everything will come together as good for the um, work together in cooperation for the believer's good. My good, your good. What, kill, won't, don't, what doesn't kill us makes us stronger, more like Jesus. So it's how we're benefiting. Every tough time we go through, whether suffering personally or for others, as we suffer, other people benefit. We are growing and being more like Jesus. All, st all circumstances work together for the uh, in cooperation for the believer's good. That is, the believer will be conformed to Jesus Christ now and reign with him later. And that's what we're going to see him later. But right now, we have to seek his face. We'll be with him later. Hallelujah. He's coming on that rapture on that cloud to rapture us up out of here. All believers in Christ. No alien invasion. That's a lie from the devil. All believers will be lifted up. Look around you. Who will be missing? All the Bible thumpers, all the Christians, all the praisers of the Lord, and all the people who told you about Jesus will be the only ones missing. That should be clue enough to let you know when you see this video and, and your family and friends are gone, look who's missing. All your secular family and friends who love the devil and love living that worldly life, they will be left behind. We will be lifted out of here. That's proof right there. Keep that in mind when that happens and we're all gone and going, where's Daryl at? He's not doing no more videos. Jesus took me home, man. And if you want to go home, repent and call upon his name and you can be saved during that seven-year tribulation after we're raptured up out of here. You still got a chance, guys. Don't ever forget that. I hope you see this. Maybe I'm gone already and you're seeing this message. Repent right now and say, Lord, I'm sorry for my sinful ways, stealing, robbing, drug dealing, drug using, um, murder, whatever it is. God will forgive you if you just ask in Jesus' name and he'll wash you clean and you could be home in heaven and paradise and you could still get saved. Remember that. So everything works together. Now we're going to go jump to Jeremiah 29, 11, which seals the deal again for us to seek God's face right now. And everything has a perfect plan and purpose behind it, guys, as we do this. For I know the thoughts I think towards you, says the Lord's, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a hope, give you a future and a hope. That's Jeremiah 29, 11. All right, moving on, guys. It's called Seek My Face. It's from the Jesus is calling. He's calling us today to seek his face so we can receive that almighty Holy Spirit power. When we're seeking Jesus, we're seeking God. We're seeking the Holy Spirit that we receive when we ask Jesus Christ into our life as our Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Now, Seek his face and you will find fulfillment through your life today and definitely later on in paradise. Hallelujah. We'll be going home soon, right? I'm coming home soon. But until then, we must seek his face. And when we get hopeless, seek his face. You will get hope. When you're in fear, you will get you will you will seek 
his face and you will get courage because you're seeking God who supplies every need that you can't, this flesh doesn't have. It's all hidden in darkness. Before I met Jesus, I was hopeless, afraid, and angry. Now I'm uh, peaceful with people. I'm happy. I'm joyful. And I'm full of courage. I take, I take every step of life with confidence because God is walking with me. And I walk in his spirit and his power and his courage and his strength. And it's amazing. Praise the Lord. But when you don't have God, Jesus Christ, the light of the world, spiritually is the sun's the um hey really he's up there behind a cloud there the sun uh, mr sun is up there behind a tree in the cloud we're gonna um be in darkness if that wasn't there but jesus is truly the the um, spiritual light of the world as the sun is the physical light if the light if it was nighttime out right and there was no sun we couldn't see really all the beauty of god's creations or each other right it'd be pitch dark right jesus in the spirit in the spiritual realm, you can't see anything until you call upon his name. Seek him. The lights come on. And now you can see hope. You can see joy. You can see peace. You can see strength. You can see love and forgiveness for others. But people living in darkness from Lucifer, the loser who's in bondage to him, they're walking around in darkness. They don't know how to love. They don't have hope. They can't see courage. They, they, don't, they, they don't see anything. They just listen to Lucifer the liar lying to them. And when you're in darkness, what do you go by? sound because you can't see but with god you can see hallelujah all right guys we're going to get on with this first readings coming from uh psalm 105 verse number four and let me get to that right now somewhere somewhere help me out holy spirit hallelujah i hope everybody's having a great day out there night evening afternoon whenever you may be watching this um will be the perfect day you're meant to see this message and uh i gotta go back one more Oh, 105, uh, help me out, Lord. Where are we at? Praise the Lord. Psalm 105. And as I get to this, guys, just know you're one prayer away from victory, okay? You're one prayer away from victory right now under any attack. So seek God's face. Bring him into that situation. Let him light it up with that V-I-C-T-O-R-Y victory in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Spirit, power. You got it. I got it. Let's get it. And not today, Satan, or any day. 105. Um... Verse 4, and it goes like this. Seek the Lord in his strength. Seek his face evermore. Praise the Lord, guys. Look, he's saying, seek my face. The people needed in the study note, I, I work out of the New King James Nelson Study Bible. Study note for this, or you know, part of this, it kind of applies to this. The people needed to remember to be faithful to God. Be faithful to God. Seek his face. Try to live an obedient life. Repent, then pray if you slip up and fall into sin. But who had... Who had God, who had never forgotten to be faithful to them. God will never be um, forget you, leave or forsake you. If you're sinning, you know, you're not seeking his face. You're seeking things of the world and of this flesh. And you'll be in darkness. But we need to repent, seek his face, and now the lights come on. Now you can see hope, strength, self-control, obedience. You can see it all, man. And he will give you um, the strength to overcome things that are overcoming you right there. We're going to go ahead and read another psalm. And we're going to say one from book of Isaiah, chapter 60, verse 2. But we're going right now to 19. Uh, the perfect revelation of the Lord is the title heading into these, this uh, chapter 19. And the two verses are 1 and 2, and it goes like this. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows his handiwork. Day unto day utters speech, and night unto night reveals knowledge. Praise the Lord, guys. Um, it's just amazing. God's words are so perfectly, you know, set in motion, man, like poetry in motion. You know, as David, um, this is a psalm of David, you know, who was a good man of God, a good, God called him a man after his own heart. And we're looking at almost nine minutes. I'm trying to keep these under 15 minutes. So Holy Spirit having his way, if they go over, it goes over. If not, it is what it is. Hallelujah. I'm in Holy Spirit. I'm in God's time right now. So we need to keep seeking God's face, guys. In a world of darkness, he's light. In a world of hopelessness, he is hope. In a world that promotes fear, he is courage. In a world that promotes, be a victim, be a weakling, God promotes strength. Right? Praise the Lord, right? Now, I'm going to go ahead and get set up for Isaiah. We're going to leave that one for last. Chapter 60, verse 2. And we're going to go ahead and get into this Jesus is calling. Right? Hallelujah. <laughs> and we are smiling on ministries. 
I'm smiling. I hope I didn't scare anybody. <laughs> but we are smiling on ministries, man, because I seek God's face. He says, seek my face, Daryl. Forget about the lie from hell and people who promote it, the wah, 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 the naysayers. Focus on me. Seek my face. I know the truth, and I will give you peace. I will give you comfort, strength, and protection from all the, all the enemies that surround me, and he will do for you, guys. Praise the Lord. And just seek his face. And no matter what we go through, I ask the Holy Spirit again, what's the name of my ministry? What do I name this ministry? My service to you, Lord. What is it? Me and my wife. Smiling on ministries. Because we're smiling on. No matter what happens around us, it doesn't matter. As long as you've got Jesus and you're following Jesus, we're smiling on through it all while we follow Jesus. Hallelujah. Have peace in the presence of the Prince of Peace. Praise him. Hallelujah. All right, guys. Here we go. Seek my face. And you will find fulfillment of your deepest longings, guys. What are you longing for right now? Seek God's face and fulfill and fill that empty void that you're longing for. The word is filled with beautiful things. They are meant to be pointers to me and reminders of my abiding presence, right? The world is full of God's, um, the, the world is full filled with God's beautiful things. So trees, birds, squirrels, people. When you look at these things, I think of God. I see God in everything all day. Every beat of my heart keeps reminding me. Hold my hand on my heart. Reminds me of God. I look at the tree. I look at the squirrels, the chipmunks, the, the woodpeckers. I look at everything. My beautiful wife, God's creations. They surround us. And I'm oh, they're all meant to be pointers back to Him. So seek His face. The earth still declares my glory to those who have eyes that, that see and ears to hear. You you had a darkened mind before you sought me wholeheartedly. We didn't have uh, we were living in darkness of Lucifer and we couldn't we didn't seek God wholeheartedly because half our heart was for the world, half our heart was for God. It's a life of confusion, ah right? Man, chaos, mayhem, addiction, fear, anxiety, trying to do good, trying to do bad, but seek God's face and do good always, and the Holy Spirit will supply what you need to do so. I choose to pour my light into you. Holy Spirit, he's fire, he's light. This is what he's talking about. So that you can be a beacon to others. Let God pour his light. Seek God, fill up on his spirit, his light, his love, and be a beacon of hope and hope and be a beacon of hope and love, a shining light in this dark world to someone else and lead them out of that darkness into the light and love of God and his hope and salvation. Praise the Lord. There is no room for pride in this position. You know, we got the homosexuals sin in that way. They got pride this, pride that. Pride is nothing but a spirit of the devil that's upon them. They reject God's humble spirit and they receive Lucifer's prideful spirit and they're like rebellious little kids without parents because Satan doesn't correct his children. No, no disrespect to anybody but right is right, wrong is wrong. A man can't be a woman and a woman can't be a man. You are who God made you to be. I can put on a Batman outfit. It doesn't make me Batman. You're living a fantasy and lie from Lucifer and he's got you in a fantasy world, man. You're never going to be have true joy and peace trying to be something you're not pride is horrible i have some native american friends pride native pride native pride native pride they follow the chief instead of jesus it's pride gets in the way of a friendship with god almighty these are facts not judgment praise the lord i'm giving truth and reality the holy spirit flowing right now not problems with me you got problems with god because his word says pride is no good praise the lord your part is ref is to reflect my glory I am the Lord. This is what we do, guys. We reflect God through us to this dark world, man, and that's what we do. We shine his love into the world of hatred. We shine his truth into the world of lies, and nobody likes the truth when they're living a lie. I know I didn't as I was raised a Roman Catholic. Lies, lies, lies. Got me calling a priest father. We only have one father in heaven. That's God, Father Yahweh. We don't pray to Mary, we pray to God through Jesus and Jesus alone. One meat eater, 1 Timothy 2, 5 says, Praise the Lord, follow Jesus, seek his face, no one else's. For behold, in the darkness shall cover the earth, and a deep darkness the people, but the Lord will arise over you. Praise the Lord. And guys, just know, let me check this time real quick there. And um, just know, this is uh, chapter 60, verse 2 of Isaiah. And it says, the deep darkness, the people, right? They're in darkness here, but the Lord will arise over you. It's like the sun rising on a dark early morning, you know? Boom, it's rose up and you got sunshine. You can see the 
the beauty in the day. Seek God's face and see the beauty in him today, guys. Praise the Lord. I love you with all my heart as I march on doing the Lord's work, letting the Holy Spirit have his way. God bless you. I salute all the brothers and sisters out there fighting a good fight of faith. And our, and our weapon is love and prayer. Bring God into the situation and get that victory now. Seek his face and you shall he shall shine victory in your life today for those you love. Hallelujah.